Hi guys, happy Halloween. It is a start of a new vlog. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Hope you all are doing really well. It is Halloween, it is Monday. This is outfit is a whole vibe. Valerie got the old boom box out. How long has it been since you guys have seen a boom box? I mean, just look at that. Crazy, crazy. Sherry, happy yes. Halloween. Oh, happy trick or treat. Yep, she got her little hey. boo shirt on. Yeah. Little Mickey's not so scary Halloween party shirt. And we got the candy already for the kids. I love this pack because I like Kit Kats and I like, oh, I like Reese's. They're so good. All right, it is Halloween night. We just had our first trick or treaters, but here's our little setup here. Valerie's working with the boom box. Sherry's keeping tally, so I said there's gonna be 60 trick or treaters. Okay. Sherry said 75, and Valerie said 150. 150. Okay, so this is our lab, and these are the instruments I need to know. I just wanted to show you guys. I'm not gonna do like any close ups, but anyway, yeah. Crazy, and that's why I'm here early to look at them by myself and stuff. I'm gonna get confused on these things because, like, there's a few that, like, have the handle and stuff, but the head's different. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I haven't vlogged at all this week, which has been insane. So that's why you've just seen like a few clips from my phone. But I wanna show you guys. I got a couple packages. So one is a FabLex package that I'm gonna open later. The next package, I have a gown and gloves. So I'm gonna show you guys how um, to properly gown and glove yourself. Uh, in a sterile field, so that'll be exciting. But first, I'm gonna go shower. I'll probably gown and glove probably on Friday when I get home. I don't know, but I definitely know right now I'm tired. But I just wanted to pick up the camera and say hey because it's been a while. All right, Valerie and I are going to a rotary meeting. We are. Yep. And I changed out of the scrubs into this outfit. So I'm just wearing this black top with the, what would you call this? Denim jacket? Denim, denim shirt. Yeah, denim shirt. All right, so I wanna do a quick little unboxing of the shirts that like I designed for the class. I feel like that TikTok, please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. Also too guys, our whole living room is really coming together. We got the ladder thing all good. We got the ladder thing all set up and everything. So anyway. Oh, they look good. Okay, so Mrs. Ruiz doesn't have a period after the misses, but it's fine. I think she will be okay with that. Um, maybe she doesn't want her name online, but you don't know her first name. But anyway, cute, let me find mine. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Oh, here's mine, here's mine, here's mine. Okay, so it says Alex right there underneath, class of 23. And then this is the back, the backbone of the OR. That is so cool. That is so cute. I love it. Yay. All right, everyone say hi to Sherry here. Hello. Her back's a little better. She's been doing well, if anyone's wondering. But look at this progress. Progress. No boxes here, guys. We gotta situate, we gotta take care of this little situation. This is the music area. I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. Do you know where this picture's going? Yes, right on the wall right there. Right, right here? Uh -huh. Oh. That'll be interesting. But this is all cleared. That is going up there, I think. And then we have this little crane guy here. So we're looking we're looking pretty good. I mean, much, much better. Now don't ask about the upstairs. <laughs> Cause the upstairs still has boxes everywhere. We still need to hang stuff, obviously. Okay guys, so it is seven in the morning, but I got my Starbucks cause it's coffee Friday. And I got the sugar cookie almond milk latte i love this drink it's very sweet so if you guys don't really like sweet but it tastes so good and yeah i just i'm in love with it i can't have it like every day and also too it's like so expensive but you know it was worth it today okay so i know in the vlog you're going to see i'm wearing this outfit but i wanted to show you guys the package i got from fabletics because i was going to because i was going to show you guys this in this vlog so I don't know guys, it's kind of difficult to like keep track of like what days and all the footage that's going up, but I wanna take the pictures today, so that's why I'm gonna open it on up. Ooh, I already like the color. Oh my gosh, these are so soft. So I got these shorts, they're super cute. Very fun. 
This is the top and I love these. They're really good support. Like in my opinion, they're like really high support bras because this little locking mechanism back here, you just like tuck it in like so and it gives this like crossed effect like that. It's not crossed, but it looks like cro it's crossed. So look how cute. I love these tops. So I'm gonna go put this on and take some pictures. After this clip, I'm gonna show you guys how to gown and glove and stuff, probably in this outfit because I don't know, it's kind of funny. I wanted that to also be in this vlog so you guys can kind of see. It's super fun, um, but definitely we all need a lot more practice because I mean, just to get better at it and everything. So yeah, I am going to put this on now. Okay, so this is the outfit. I should have gotten a small, a smaller size in the bottoms, but I think the top fits really well. But this is what it looks like. And I absolutely love it. It's super, super comfortable. This is definitely gonna be a go-to outfit for spin class. Okay, so I ended up changing back into this because I use this more as like lounge wear rather than like workout attire in all honesty. But I'm starving because it's like two o'clock. <laughs> so I promise after lunch, I will show you guys the gowning and gloving. And then I need to edit both of these videos because I just feel like I have so much to do and so much to edit. Oh man, guys, I am just a hot mess. Forgive me. Okay, what you've all been waiting for the gowning and gloving part of this video. So basically, this is nowhere near a sterile environment or even clean for that matter. And I'm not a teacher. I'm just practicing what I learned in school. So also for any of you guys who are surge techs and like see something that I'm doing that's weird, call me out because every time like we practice and stuff like my teacher and like other classmates like we call each other out like oh you just contaminated your um gown because you touched the mayo stand and stuff so for any of you guys who are search text i know i have a couple search texts wa who watch my channel a little bit this is an xxl because yeah anyway it's just a little big just know that so first off, I'm going to, I don't know if you guys can fully see, I'm pretending that this is like a mayo stand. It's totally not. First, we always have to hold our like gloves in our hand when we open this. So we open up the pack and we take out the gown and then we can throw this away, conveniently located right there. And then we wanna make sure that there's a little flappy here, if you can see. And we want that pointed to us so we can open it up. So I'm going to open it up. And this is before you scrub because you'll see why. But we open this on up like so. It doesn't actually look like this when we do it at school. But you never want to um, reach over the gown because it's a sterile field. So you just come around like this. And so your pack is open and there's your sterile gown. Then you take your gloves and obviously you can't be touching all this stuff. So you're going to open it and then like pull it back like this. So see, I wasn't supposed to be reaching over the sterile field like that. <laughs> um, so anyway, going to open up the gloves, shake it out. There we go. And then I'm just going to throw that away. There's the trash. I'm gonna wet my arms kind of like how I would, they would be wet in a surgical scrub. So I'm going to put my hand like this and then just like, this is weird doing this at home, but anyway. So you never wanna go back and forth. You just wanna go in one direction like this. And then obviously in a real world too, you couldn't like turn off the thing with your hands. There's like a thing that you punch your knee into and it turns the water on and off. So now we have to dry our hands and what we do is we like put our butt out like this, kind of like if you were gonna like twerk or something. <laughs> and so you take the napkin, you give it like a little shake like this and then you dry the hand, but you start off with each finger like so. And honestly, I should be more further back from this thing because you don't want to contaminate you don't want to be touching that and then you just pat down like this so you do look a little ridiculous 
And then after you do one hand, you don't go back up and you don't rub. You're gonna take the opposite end, so take your hand and get the other end and then start with the other hand. So starting off drawing each finger like this and then pat all the way down. Don't rub and just go all the way down like that. Then you're supposed to throw this away, but I don't want to be touching anything. So I'm just going to put it on the floor for now. I hope my teacher doesn't watch this because she's like, don't put it on the floor. Then you're going to get your gown. So you don't want to take too long. So I'm just going to reach. There's like a smiley face. So you want the smiley face, the you part looking at you. And then you open it up and you slide your fingers through like this. As you can see, this is way too big for me. In the real world, you would stand here and someone would help you Velcro the gown. But since I don't have someone to help me because my mom is like getting changed and stuff, I am going to do this part. But really, you're not supposed to do this part. But you would in the real world, like I said, have someone Velcro and then tie this little thing. Pretend someone did that, okay? So now we're like this and you always keep your hands up because you don't want bacteria to get on your hands. And if you put your hands down like by your waist, like this, then you're not sterile because below the waist is not sterile. So now taking the gloves, this is kind of big on me, so bear with me. So you take the gloves and then you open the glove pack like so, so it's like laying flat with the left hand here and the right hand here. Again, I'm not supposed to be like touching all this stuff. Hmm, I don't know that one. Did you just hear that? Anyway, okay, so you're gonna open one of the gloves. Then you're gonna put the text facing down Okay, so the text faces the hand you're going to put your glove on. So this is the left, so the left, the writing goes towards the left hand. So then what you can do is flip this over and then you pull. And then you can pull this down and you don't have to have it fully on, so you can just get the other glove like so, making sure the text is facing that, the palm of your hand, and then you're gonna take the glove, like so. See, I'm way too close to the thing, but it's okay, like for now. And then you flip this over. So then you're kinda like looking kinda crazy like this, but then you just fix the glove and put make sure you put your fingers in the appropriate holes and because the gloves are sterile like this hand can touch this hand so and the blue gown is also sterile there we go in the OR you would always just stand with your arms here because this is so you know the song like your no no square so your no no square in the OR is like here to your waist so you can leave your hands like this, but you can't go like this. You have to keep them here or you have to keep them up like this. Okay, so anyway, someone else cleans this up like in the real world. And to complete the gowning process, um, we have this little card thing. This is sterile and people like to keep them to like write notes on because it, since it is sterile, you can keep it to write notes on. I don't know how else to describe that, but this is called you spin with somebody. So. I would take the left string here, making sure it doesn't hang down, and then I would hand this to you. Let's just pretend you're there. So I'd hand this to you and you would take the green section, you would hold that end, and then I would turn, pretending you're holding this still, I would turn, you still have it, and then I would pretend you're still holding it, you would hold it and I would pull. And then I would hold these up, making sure they're not down. And then I would tie 
a bow like this. Again, this one's kind of big on me, so anyway. But that is how you gown and glove. And yeah, so I am going to finish off the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.